And now, the Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with meteorologist Derek Sibley. Well, good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us on this Monday morning. Brand new start here to the work week. Here's a live look outside for you. Outside, a big spring on top of the beautiful historic hotel settles. Thanks to that West Texas State Bank Sky Tracker for giving us a really nice and lovely, lovely view across the region. Now, the reason why we do expect rain chances here for some of us today, if you were watching earlier, the reason being we do have this area of low pressure building in the upper levels of the atmosphere, giving us this very strong southwesterly winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere, and that is going to help increase increase the moisture across our area. We also have very southerly winds coming out of the south and that is going to help uh, stream in some moisture as you can see. Anywhere you see these rain showers and clouds indicates plenty of moisture for us to work with and that's going to really pick up as we head into the day. Now not all of us are going to see the rain and thunderstorms for us today. A lot of us will see those clouds as you just saw here for us this morning into the afternoon but the bulk of the moisture where the showers and storms will be anywhere you see these pop-ups of yellow reds and greens across especially Eddie and Lee County by this afternoon and more is expected to develop as we head into tonight where we see this line of uh, this, bear, this very strong shield of showers and storms just pushing its way from south, west to northeast and we'll probably expect another round of that to occur as we head into early tomorrow morning. But the basin still looking rather cloudy. It's going to be interesting to see if the basin will be able to pick up any of these showers or storms, but I'm thinking the majority should remain off to the west here for us today and tonight. But either way, most of us are still dealing with other weather conditions and I'll get to that here in just a second. But the Storm Prediction Center has outlined this green area here, which indicates a marginal risk of severe weather. We're talking isolated strong to severe thunderstorms, hail, damaging winds, and a flooding, all a major concern here. But really, it's really going to be the flooding that's going to be the most concern with these showers and storms today. As you can see, anywhere anywhere between a half an inch to an inch and a half is definitely possible along the Guadalupe Pass and up towards Eddy and Lee counties. Looks like the bulk of the moisture is probably going to remain off towards the west here, you can see in this, in this line, but it looks like uh, most of it here will be concentrated here across Eddie and Lee County. So either way, the National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch, which goes into effect from this morning until tomorrow afternoon for the onset of possible heavy rainfall. Now, here are some tips that you can follow with the flooding that's expected, especially across southeast New Mexico. Try to avoid those flood roadways out there because the water will obscure the roadway. And be careful if you must drive through a couple areas of some flooded roadways because you never know what's under there, you could end up damaging your vehicle. So definitely not a good idea. Make sure to turn around, don't drown if you ended up if you end up crossing, if you end up coming near those flooded roadways outside. Southeasterly winds currently 15 to 20 miles per hour. This is the other story that I wanted to get to was the winds are really going to be kicking up out there this afternoon. As you can see across the basin, especially we could see wind speeds gusting up to around 25 to 30 miles per hour outside. But these are really the sustained wind speed values. And that will continue as we head into your day tomorrow. It's not until Wednesday until these winds out there that you see really start to finally calm down. Here's my day planner for you today. Now, we do expect the cloudy skies for most of us across Midland and Odessa, starting off in the low 70s, and then we start to warm up here into these low 90s. But check out these winds. Southeasterly winds around 15 to 20 miles per hour outside. Here's my look. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast, and you can see that we do have these temperatures still into those mid to upper 80s to lower 90s, and the rain chances only around 20% for Midland and Odessa. But again, the better rain chances are concentrated off towards the west.